Hey guys, James here today and welcome to a tutorial on how to change the images in your Sims 3 uh, packs for when you're uploading them to the exchange. Uh, there's been an amazing response on the world. There's already over 2000 downloads and it's been um, probably about just over 12 hours, a bit longer than that now, which is insane. Um, there's been tons of lots submitted as well. Uh, there's 162 currently. Uh, basically, so what the website does, by the way, uh, which I can kind of show you now, is it will grab uh, all the images from the Sims 3 exchange. So if you do custom images like this person here has done, uh, they will show up. And it's also a good, a good idea to sort of replace all the other ones too. Uh, so you can show different images of your house so people know what they're getting. Uh, it's actually really easy to do that. Uh, what you're going to want to do is download this program here. I've linked it in the description below. Um, it, I think they have a Mac version as well. Yeah, they do. They have Windows and Mac OS. Uh, so you can just download this and uh, it will do what we need it to do. So once you've downloaded that, just open it up and uh, we'll go from there. So this is the program here once you open it up. Uh, it's pretty easy to use. What you got to do is just click on open. It'll take you to your exports folder. You select the file you've exported. For me, it was super awesome lot 111. Um, so let's open that up. Here it is. And you'll see there's images one of five. So we can... Place in up to five images in the Sims 3 pack. Uh, important thing to note, uh, you really want square images. So if you're able to, open up the image with an editor and just crop it to a square, uh, and that'll be really good. It doesn't matter though, They, if you don't do it, they'll just get squished, as I will show you now. So let's just go to my test folder. I've got screenshots one, two, three, four, and five. Obviously, they're not of the actual uh, lot, but uh, I'll just show you what it does. So you can just put in uh, JPEGs, PNGs, uh, bitmaps, and GIFs, and all these different types of files. You put it in and it sort of just squishes it down. Um, but ideally, you want to try and take good screenshots, uh, crop them to a square, chuck them in there. And then once you're done, you just click on save. Re uh, try to replace all of them if you can. That'd be the best idea. Click on the save button. It will overwrite the existing file. So if you don't want it to overwrite, make sure to copy and make a backup first. But uh, you just click yes on that. It will say done and it'll exit. Then what you got to do is go to your launcher and upload it like you regularly would. And then you'll have custom images in your Sims 3 pack, um, which is awesome. Uh, anyways, that's it for this video. It's just I, I, I thought this was kind of important because uh, especially because uh, my website utilizes those pictures quite a lot. And it makes it a lot easier to see what a lot is about um, than just seeing the sort of default uh, pictures. Um, so, yeah. That's how you do it. It's pretty easy and it is really awesome when you do have custom pictures and it helps a lot. Uh, but yes, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and have a great day.